Before starting any electrical project, make sure the circuit breaker is completely off and there's no power going to your light fixtures. All right, we chose this light fixture because, well, quite frankly, it needs a lot of help. Uh, most light fixtures that have lenses on the bottom of them have a release device somewhere that will allow you to drop it down and swing it open. It should hang there just fine on this little hinges up here. One of the other reasons we chose this light fixture is because this is the old technology, the big T12 fluorescent light bulbs. This light fixture is also very old. The uh, sockets are all shattered and brittle and broken. Um, the fixture is dirty um, and it's old school. So we're going to make some changes here. We're going to clean it up. We're going to repair it and we're going to make this fixture not only brand new but energy efficient at the same time. First thing I'm going to do is reach up here and rotate the tubes and get them out of the sockets. If, if you notice, sockets are actually so brittle, they're falling apart as we go here. Next thing I'm going to do is reach up here and this is a ballast cover and you just press it together, it comes right out. Really simple. There we go. Underneath this cover are two really old, too light, um, advanced magnetic style transformers. Uh, they don't make these anymore, they're obsolete, they're kind of energy pigs. And uh, today we're going to take these two out and we're going to replace it with just one. Being that we're going to remove all of this, including the, uh, the sockets on the end, uh, I'm going to take the power coming out of the, uh, the attic here. And we're going to take these wire nuts off. Pull these wires away. I'm not going to use those anymore. And then uh, we're just going to cut some of these wires and get them out of our way. And then we're going to pull these bells out. Because, like I said, we really don't need any of this. So everything's now disconnected. I'm going to reach up here and undo this. Just a simple nut. Slide the ballast out. It's gone. And now we're going to go after the other one. We're going to take this ballast out too. We're going to just cut some wires. We're not going to use these anymore. We don't need them. It just makes it easier and, and quicker. All right, ballast have been removed. We're ready to go with the new stuff. We've removed the ballast here. They're gone. And uh, now we're going to go down here and address these old brittle sockets. Um, we're going to remove this plate here. Um, and you'll see how easy it is to remove the, uh, the lamp sockets or is what some of the electricians call as tombstones. All right, I'm going to remove this plate here that the, uh, the old brittle sockets are in. It's really not hard to do. Stick my screwdriver right in this little slot. And different manufacturers have different ways of getting these out, but it's all pretty standard. I'm move my screwdriver down here, do this one, and the whole piece comes right out in my hand. And there's the old broken sockets. And we're going to take them down here and get them all rewired and ready to go. All right, on the other side of the light fixture right now, we're going to remove this uh, socket assembly just with a simple screwdriver. Pull it out. Simple as that. This is the assembly we took out of the light fixture above with the, uh, the sockets in it that are kind of shattered and broken and dirty. And uh, we're going to pop them out and replace them. Uh, we've got a couple uh, extras here, and uh, I think we're going to do all of them. Um, it's safety uh, first and the best way to go. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna undo these here. We're gonna take all the wires and everything, and um, we're not gonna be using the wires anymore. Uh, this wire actually got melted on, and we're gonna take this whole assembly and throw it away uh, because the new ballast has plenty of wire. Uh, we're gonna take this and clean off some of the dirt. These two old magnetic ballasts, they're two lamp ballasts. We're gonna replace with just one of our fluorescent four lamp ballasts. All right, the ballast comes with the uh, red and uh, blue wires and the wires have uh, the ends already stripped off but you know I kind of like to clean them up so I'm gonna cut this off and there's a couple of ways to do it you can use one of these old school strippers or you can get really fancy and high-tech and use one of these really fast guys where you just drop it in and boom it's ready we're gonna take this wire and put it right in here and it's gonna lock right inside this socket and it's in we're gonna do that with all four sockets you don't need to use the other side on this new style. Just one wire per, uh, per socket is going to do it. Take the socket, put the wire in, it locks in, and it's strong and set. 
clean the wire off. Take the stripper, strip it off, push it in the socket. Locks in, always check it. Here we have all four sockets on this side of the ballast and they're ready to go. The reds and the blues, just one wire per socket is all we need. And uh, this side's set and ready to go. Uh, we're just gonna slip it back into the old, uh, the old holder and um, get it ready for uh, getting up in the light fixture as we do the other side. The tombstone or socket connector just slides right inside here. And here's the back of it showing that the upper channel is where it's sliding into the bracket. All right, we've completed that end of the ballast as far as its wiring and sockets. Now we're gonna do this other end. And if you follow me down here, we'll check out how, what these wires are for. We have two yellow wires coming out and a black and a white. Now these are your power wires. White is neutral and black is hot. We're gonna to get to those here in just a minute. But we're gonna take these two yellow wires and we're gonna go into these four sockets. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. The manufacturer gave us lots of excess uh, as far as a red wire goes. So we're going to take just a little bit of this off here at the end. We're just going to cut it like so. And we're going to put this aside and use this in just a minute. Take our quick stripper, strip off these wires. Uh, that should be long enough. And I'm going to put it here inside of the, uh, the sockets. Here's one socket. And here's another. Now, these other two sockets don't have a friend. Uh, we're going to fix that right now. Very, very simply. We're going to take this excess wire that we just, uh, we just cut, and we're going to strip it down too. And uh, we're going to make... Ooh, that's, a little, that's a little long. Let me cut that back a little bit here. And we're going to make some jumpers. And we're going to take these sockets that, uh, that weren't used, and we're going to jumper them. So each yellow wire actually goes to two sockets. We didn't do this one. And that's how we're going to get power to, uh, to all four of these. All right, let me lay these out for you. So this one yellow wire uh, now has two, and this yellow wire now has two. And we're going to correspond these with the other side of the ballast. So the uh, red wires correspond with these, and the blue wires correspond with these. So now it's time to put on the bracket and put it back up in the light fixture. Okay, so I put them side by side. There's the jumper showing underneath here. Same thing here at the other end side by side. You know, they're going to pop out on you when you put them up, but as long as you know where they go, you can pop them back in when you get up there on the, uh, on the light fixture. And we're going to take all these wires and wrap them underneath very, very neatly so nothing gets pinched. So here's the uh, socket side by side. Here's the uh, wire coming into a socket and jump to the other socket. It doesn't matter which side you're on. This is just kind of how we made it up. And we're going to tuck the wires down inside so when we put it up in the light fixture, um, they don't get pinched. And it's something that's kind of loose and you'll have to work it, work it uh, when you get it up there. Uh, but we wanted to show you. On this side, here they are, they're ready to go. And the wires are ready to get tucked inside. Okay, well, these, these, little, uh, these little guys keep falling out. If you grab this right here and just uh, bend it down a little bit. So it causes some friction when you go in. And uh, there's a good chance your, uh, your tombstones or your sockets will stay in a lot better that way. I just wanted to show you all the, uh, all the sockets and their plates and they're ready to go. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this up in our light fixture now. We're gonna clean some of the dirt out of this light fixture. Look at this, this thing's really old. It's been sitting up here collecting dust for a long time and uh, doesn't have a lot of reflective properties when it's dirty. All right, we're gonna slide this ballast right here in these little notches. And on the other end, there should be a screw post poking out. We're gonna kinda just push that right in there and then take the little uh, nut that came, uh, came off the uh, magnetic ones and we're going to set it here in our driver. We're going to screw this right back in here, just like so. So two old heavy magnetic ballasts are now gone. And this new lightweight, energy efficient four lamp ballast is in place and ready to go.
Uh, we got our socket assembly ready. We pulled our wires through. Kind of check the other side, make sure nothing's going to get pinched. And we're going to put this right back in place the same way it came out with the notches going in first, right here. So first these notches are going to go in. And no different lamp manufacturers, um, different fixture manufacturers have different ways of, uh, of mounting these, but they're all basically the same. I'm going to take my screwdriver and just kind of gently push this over the little holding nub. And that one's locked in. And that one's locked in. And these sockets are now ready to go. Right, we got the yellow side here. It's a little tight. We're going to go ahead and, and pop this one into place too, just like we did on the uh, red-blue side. Last thing we have to do is hook up power. And uh, a couple of ways to do this, um, kind of the old school and the new school. I'm going to show you, show you which, which one's which. And uh, here are the wires that we're going to connect. And they're obviously a little long, so uh, we're going to take our wire snips and I'm going to trim them back just a, just a hair here. I'm going to take these and get rid of some of the excess. And, all right, we have the, uh, the power still to hook up. We're just about done, and there's a couple of ways we can do it. We can use the wire nuts that, that came off. Uh, they're kind of getting a little crinkly and brittle. Um, or we can use these new push connectors uh, that we found at the local hardware store. We kind of prefer these because they're quick, fast, and very secure. I'm going to get one out and show them to you. All right, for this connection, the black is going to go to the black, not to the white, but black to black. So we're going to take this connector and we're going to put one wire in here, a black wire. And we're going to take the black wire here, which is the hot. We're going to push it in the other side. And now you have a permanent connection. Uh, it's not something that twists off or anything else. And we're going to do the same thing with the white. Here's the, uh, the neutral. And here's the white going back to the ballast. And we're going to shove those two wires in. And they're nice and tight. We're going to kind of just push them up here and get them out of the way. And uh, we're ready to uh, cover it all up. Here's our ballast cover. And if you remember, you don't have to take any tools to put this in. I'm just going to kind of get those wires up inside, wrap this baby in place. And I'm reaching out behind and pushing the wires in here with my fingers. And you can see them all up there in the channel. And they're ready to go. Everything's now nice, tight, contained, and finished. And all we need to do now is put the tubes in and turn it on. The T8 tubes, uh, they're smaller in diameter by uh, uh, quite a bit. Sometimes it's a little tight, and this older fixture definitely is. So we're going to take our thumb and just push that socket back while we put those pins up inside. I'm going to take this tube and we're gonna rotate it, and you'll feel it lock in, and it's ready to go. So we're all done with the installation. We're ready to test the light fixture so we can turn our circuit breaker back on. And there it is. And... We got our light fixture all done. We're going to put our lens back here in place. Just simply uh, push a little connector back inside. Locks it right in. Ready to go. You now have a new energy efficient four lamp fluorescent fixture with T8 tubes and no longer an energy pig. At Total Lighting Supply, we understand the importance of your time. Not everyone can be a lighting expert. We're not just about selling you light bulbs, light fixtures, and light components. We're also about helping you achieve amazing and successful lighting results in your space. We hope that our video series will assist you in achieving your lighting goals.